Muito bem, Helena. Okay, so today we arrived in uh, Seville. It was a bit of a rush, as usual, on the days when we arrive somewhere and we have to unpack the car, prepare the apartment and everything, but we could still enjoy quite a lot of this day. Days are longer, which helps. It's, 10, it's almost 10.30 right now. And it's still a tiny bit of daylight. And the temperature is just perfect. I, I would imagine a city this size to have uh, places of such greatness. It's uh, it was really impressive. Yeah. So now we're just strolling back home with a bottle. for the next few days and as a great night that it is outside
Bora. Bora. And this is our third day in Seville. The city is uh, different from anywhere else I have been. But especially when you look into the details, like that. This city is full of it, it's amazing. Another. So this is another example of uh, how good it is to get lost in this city. Never heard of this place and then all of a sudden walking past and you see, ah, oh, that's kind of an odd building, let's just... And then you end up here. Once you get in, it's such a contrast from what it looks like from the outside. It's really unexpected and it's just... Such a shame it's fully booked. Okay, in the end, they figured there was one table left. Who's gonna have a nice dinner tonight? And now it's taken. Levanta mão. Hey! Now we are in front of this, uh, the huge cathedral of the city. This thing is insane. It is massive. And right over there are the old walls of the ancient city. This city has such a charm, such a...
olha que bom. Na a pizza tinha umas duas, né? Tudo sobremesas. So today's our last day here in Seville. We were we stayed right beside this uh, big market of the city, which is the uh, Las, Las, Las Setas. Setas. We just call them the mushrooms. It's built in the center of Madrid and gives us a perspective of the whole city because it's an amazing lookout. So that's a very nice way to say goodbye to the city. And that's the kind of thing you can see from here. Mm -hmm.